Primer 6, welcome back to math session with me. Please pre prepare yourself to be ready to learn about math because now we are in chapter 2, lesson 1, fractions. This is fractions. In chapter 1, we have learned about algebra and then we have, you know, it's been done. And now it's fractions. So please prepare yourself because fractions is kind of spicy. So at first, we're going to learn about the lesson one, divide a fraction by whole number. It is still simple, still simple. Please put it on your mind so your mind will be will set into easy level. Before that, we're going to recall. Look at here. So what is it? A per B or A out of B or A B, right? That's how we read this fraction. And I want to ask you, what is A called? What is the name of this A? Forget it? Remember? Okay. So for those who forget or remember, I will just recall it to you once again. Numerator, denominator. Get it? Numerator, denominator. That's it. Don't forget. So here is our lesson. Steps. In dividing a fraction by whole number, we have steps. Keep, change, flip. That's it. Only three. Keep, change, flip. Keep, change, flip. Keep, change, flip. Remember? Only those three words. But what does it mean? So here we are. We have three out of four divided by three. This is a fraction. This is whole number. Fraction, whole number. Fraction, whole number. That's why it is called as dividing a fraction by whole number, okay? Remember, still remember steps? Keep. That's it. This is what we call as keep. It means that, look at here, this is 3 out of 4. Well, it is the same. 3 out of 4. So this one, we will keep it. 3 out of 4. If this is 7 out of 8, or 9 out of 10, or 11 out of 100, well, it is same for this one. Because that's why we call it as keep. Okay? After that, multiplication. Why does multiplication, um, why is multiplication there? Why? Look at here. What we have here is division at first. Remember the second step? Change. We change it. Don't forget, please don't forget that the friend of subtraction is addition. The friend of division is multiplication. Don't you ever forget it. So that is, that's it. This division, we're going to change it into multiplication. Change. Okay? And then the last one is flip. Flip. What does it mean? What does it mean? So we have three here at first. Okay? This is the explanation. First, we have three. And then 3 in fraction is 3 out of 1. Because 3 out of 1 is 3. 3 divided by 1 is 3. So 3 in fraction, 3, the whole number in fraction is 3 out of 1. So just flip it. When we flip it, it will be 1 out of 3. Artinya apa? Kita tukar yang bawah ke atas, yang atas ke bawah. Look at here. So this one will be, uh, this one is... At the bottom at first, at the bottom, and now when we flip it, it will be on top. And this three, which is on top at first, when we flip it, it will be at the bottom. So that's it. So three, this three, when we flip it into one per three. And it goes, it applies on this another fraction. For example, like this, five. When we flip five, it will be one per five, because five actually is five per one. So when we flip it, it will be 1 per 5, 2, 1 per 2, 9 is 1 per 9. It is same with, for example, like this one. When you have 7 per 9, for example, like that, okay. When we flip it, it will be 9 per 7. That's it. Same. Same rules, okay. Get it? Keep, change, flip. First one, for, wait, where is it? Okay. First one, this, 
kept this division change into multiplication and these three whole number which is three per one we flip it into one per three is it that not yet it's only the steps so please look at your verb which have to practice one number one we're going to discuss point a one per three divided by two and as you can see in your book you will have this one right and it's not subtraction please it is fraction this is this one so one per three divided by two remember the first step is keep have you keep it yes one per three same as this one one per three after keep what is that change change what change this division into multiplication remember division change into multiplication okay after that what flip so one per two two remember two is two per one and now when we flip it into one per two okay so that's it is that the answer no that's only the process so what is the answer just times it as usual when you have fraction multiplication and fraction it is same like numerator the uh, multiply by numerator denominator multiply by denominator so it means that one times one equals one and three times two equals six so that's it the answer of one per three divided by two is one per six so we look at b one per five divided by three remember keep first is keep keep and then next one is change change what mystery change that division symbol into multiplication after that flip of one what number we must flip that three this three will flip it into one per three and then the answer will be one one times one and five times three fifteen so the answer will be one per fifteen look at c one per four divided by two keep first keep 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 what number what what a number must we keep one per four that's it change change what division symbol times flip flip what that two into one per two is it done not yet so what's the answer one one times one remember one times one and then denominator four times two eight so the answer must be a one per eight d one per eight divided by four so first at all is keep one per eight and then change that division symbol into multiplication after that that four we must flip it into one per four kind of easy right keep change flip that's it after that just multiply it as usual one times one one eight times four of course 32 so the answer is one per 32 so how is it is it hard not really in my opinion but if you still if you are still confused about it or or if you have any question regarding to that you may ask me through the comment section or Edmodo. After that, practice make perfect. Don't forget to share in your mind by doing this for good chapter two, practice one, number two. Number two. It means that whole number two. We'll be discussed on the meeting, which is tomorrow, 30th July. I don't know. Please, please, please remember to do it. So in chapter two, we have learned about the final fraction by whole number. And also, I have I have put this video reference for you to watch. It is a song. So for you, uh, it is a song, so you can sing it. But it's a math song, of course, not Korean song. Sorry. So that's all for today, Primer 6. Have any question? Leave it in the comment section or at Modo DM. Thank you and goodbye.